What are some street smarts everyone should know? One situational awareness would probably be the biggest thing I'd stress to people. These days of Ariana are so buried in their phones, they don't pay attention. To walk with a purpose, act like you belong, and you're 100% in charge of your shit. This combined with one will probably keep you out of trouble 99% of the time. 3. If you can, control the situation. Your gut instincts are often right, and when they are telling you to leave, you should. Sometimes people prevent that from happening, but as a general rule I try to control the situation by leaving. I'll try again and again. I grew up in a pretty rough neighborhood in Chicago, and probably the best thing you should do when walking by yourself at night is pay attention to every car. Usually they'll drive past you and scope you out if you look like a target you'll see that car again, or they'll meet you farther down your path while you're walking past an alley. Always be ready for something when walking past an alley, and stay close to the houses, that way if anything goes suspicious, you can run into a backyard. If there is one house, that looks occupied on a mostly empty street with burnt down houses, that's a trap house. Lock your doors, as soon as you are in your car. If someone asks your shoe size start walking lol. Before using any ATM, tug hard on the plastic card reader. Scammers often put a fake one on top that steals your info. Utilize a retail store's big reusable bag to hide an expensive purse when walking at a sketchy section in the city. Is that stranger being overly nice to you? Are you on the sidewalk? Are you alone? The reason it feels like something is wrong is because something is wrong. When walking in an unfamiliar city or trail, look back regularly. It will help you to remember landmarks that will guide you back home. Don't ever tell the cab driver you don't know where you're going. If you put your finger on a mirror and there is no space between your finger and its reflection, you are looking at a two-way mirror. This once helped me in the dressing room of a shady clothing store that sold red on her old clothes when I was only 15 to 16. My friend and I thought it would be funny to go in and try things on. After checking the mirror, we left immediately. If it sounds too good to be true it is. Be aware of your surroundings and trust your gut. Women should not be afraid to appear a The book a gift of Furro has lots of great info. If you are in any sort of confrontation and someone balls their fist and looks away for a second, or even just looks away for a second, you should be prepared for the possibility of a sucker punch. Never drink do drugs in situations you don't know about. Could be someone spikes it, takes advantage by robbing, rape, kidnapping whatever it is. Always be paying attention. Edit, misspelled word. Edit 2, if Ariana is talking about the drugging which is good awareness and it is sad to hear so many stories. I just wanted to emphasize the always be paying attention part 2. Don't let anything take your attention away when you're in a new slash potentially dangerous situation. I should have elaborated more on that too. If you bring a weapon out in a fight, it can be used against you, in the fight and legally. Wear shoes you can run the fuck away in. Street smarts to give your kids. If you get lost, find the, the closest adult with kids. I saw this in action once at Disneyland when a 4 year old kid approached me and my kid us while we were eating. She joined us very calmly, introduced herself, and said her parents gave her the above advice. I heard her parents shouting her name not long after and the relief on their faces was a sight. Nobody approaches you on the street because they want to do something for you. It's always because they want something from you. You wanna get mugged if you look like you're going to mug someone. Every answer on the street in a not so nice area is no. Hey can I have a cigarette? No. Hey you got the time? No. Hey can I borrow your phone to make a call? No. Semicolon. Stick up men wanna see your hands. If they can see your hands, they know you don't have a weapon and will be easier to rob. If a group of people suddenly get down, so do you. 
Always ask for only one scoop of ice cream first, because they make single scoops bigger, then act like you changed your mind, and ask for a second scoop. They will be pressured to match the size of the first scoop, providing you with a massive amount of ice cream. Always know where the exits are in any place that you enter, so that you don't get lost in an emergency. Also, never place yourself in a low row or low row in public, where there is only one entrance and exit and no other people around. These are often crime hotspots. Shut your fucking mouth. It does not matter how angry you are or what they said to you. Shut your fucking mouth and walk away. Bruised ego is better than shot dead. When it comes to knife fights, the loser dies in the street, the winner dies in the hospital. This reminds me of a comedian who was saying the best way to stay safe in a rough neighborhood is to fake a Russian accent cause Russians are terrifying. If you are going to be away on holiday or somewhere you are unfamiliar with for any length of time, it is a good idea to try to always make sure that someone knows roughly where you are going to be and what you are going to be doing on a given day. Even if you are like me, and you don't like to plan out a full itinerary, a rough indication of what your plans might be, can help work out your movements, if ever there is an issue. You might be correct, when you have the right of way, but you're still the one that's going to be dead, when you get whacked by the car if you're walking, or on your bike. Just because someone is friendly with you, doesn't mean they have a good heart. Edit, you shouldn't have wasted your rewards on this comment, I plan to delete my account soon. Pay attention when you cross the street on foot, no matter who has the right of way, the vehicle will destroy you, lightly or heavily, thanks. If you hold yourself in an imposing way, you are less likely to be messed with. I get that not everyone is 6, 6 and walks very upright, but a little bit of confidence in your walk can help. If you're walking and someone approaches, don't break stride. You can carry on a conversation while walking, but people who are looking to proselytize, sell you something, or mug you will want you to slow or stop to address them. If they want to chat, make them keep up with you. You can even tell them that you're in a rush, but would love to talk and walk. They'll likely find someone more stationary, because if you can make a person slow, you can make them stop. If you can make them stop, you've already adjusted their priorities and placed yourself at the top. It's a subtle power game. Keep going where you're going and you retain your power. Stop and cat and you've given it up and opened yourself to possible problems. Do not trust taxi drivers if you are a tourist. If you're driving and hit black ice just take foot off gas but don't brake until the slide stops. Adults do not ask children for help. If ever you pull out a weapon be prepared to use it. Walk around your car before you get into it. Keep your head up and be alert, or at least look alert. FFS, turn off your car and take the keys with you when you stop at a store or gas station. Be aware of surroundings, look like you belong either through body language, attire, or occupation, without being oblivious to things around you. The moment you look lost, out of place, or unsure is the moment you can look like a good target. If someone is looking at you with an expression questioning why you are there, be prepared to answer it with confidence and give an answer they would accept, or be prepared to leave before they can ask. If you are ever locked up and some of the guys are playing cards and you happen to see a card fell into one of their laps, don't it try and be helpful and point out that they dropped a card. <laughs>